How's it going, Guardians? We have news, finally. Finally something to talk about. I actually had just left my home with some friends on my way to celebrate St. Paddy's Day when Bungie broke the news. And the image that was shown just blew me away. A Taken shader, guys. My initial thought was that it was new Taken gear, but the gear is old gear. The Titan has House of Wolves gear on. It's so funny because just last week I was thinking about this exact idea for a shader and RN Jesus answered my prayers. Now, the update was pretty vague, but I'm going to give you my interpretations of what these might mean. New PvE challenges. This initially sounded like a new set of King's Fall challenges, which is still possible I think, but could also mean challenges for Vault of Glass. I would love to see new items to chase after that are themed after Vault of Glass. Even Crota. Even though many don't like that raid, I personally enjoy the spirit of it. New and updated gear. New gear is self-explanatory, but I think that the updated gear could mean a few different things. Does this mean that the tower vendors will be updated? Or will this coincide with the theory of Vault of Glass will be updated, so that means updated Vol gear as well? Blighted Chalice Strike. There's going to be a new quest with a new strike involved, the Blighted Chalice Strike. Because of the Taken King strikes, which actually blew me away, I'm really excited for an upcoming strike for the first time ever. The title seems to give a few clues. Looks like there's going to be another relic, but is this going to be the same chalice from Crota's End? I think very likely. And it may be a situation where Guardians have to continuously swap the Chalice between each other throughout the strike because you won't be able to heal. All trolls welcome. Increase max light and rewards. Now many have had theories on what the new light level is going to be. Uh, if I had to make a bet, I would say 340, maybe 350. Who knows? What do you guys think? Now, for the next three weeks, every Wednesday, Bungie is going to do exactly what they did with House of Wolves and release a little bit of information about this update until the actual release. So, on March 23rd at 11 a.m. Pacific, they will be discussing new things to do. On March 30th, the following week, at the same time, they will be talking about new things to earn. And finally, on April 6th, at the same time, they're going to be talking about the Sandbox and Crucible updates. So be sure to tune into their Twitch channel to find out all the goodies. I will be posting updates about those reveals. So just in case you don't really find yourself tuning into the Twitch channel to find out what's really going on, the actual release date for all this new content is going to be April 12th. Destiny is, of course, if you haven't known, in dire need for some new content, especially with everyone playing Division now. Yeah. How many of you who are playing Division will come back for this update? Leave a comment below. Well, that's all for today, guys. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to share, like, and subscribe to my channel for more Destiny content. My name is Chit, and I approve this message. Yeah.